everyone. So obviously May has come to an end, which means I have to share my favorites, my beauty favorites and random favorites um, for the month for to you guys. I have to share my favorites with with you guys. Okay, I'm smart. Anyways, let's start with the makeup as usual. Um, I'll start with lips this month. Usually I start with face, so let's start with the lips. First, I have this beautiful 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 lipstick I mean can we just take a moment look at this packaging are you like are you seeing this and ready so you're like what the heck how do you even open it it has no like cap or anything you slide this down uh, I mean come on like this is the coolest thing ever and it's the most beautiful color ever um, I have it on my lips now it's just like a very very sheer yet beautiful like hot pink I want to say this it's, it's like a regular like pink it has like a little bit of shimmer in it and it's just so perfect for the spring and summer I am so in love um and you probably want to know what it is it is the Guerlain Shine Automatique I don't know it's their lipstick that looks like this uh in the number 261 so I was very excited when I got this it is just so beautiful I've always wanted like a very like high-end lipstick that I could wear all the time that is like still like it's more than like a neutral color but it's still like I can wear it anytime I wanted so this is just perfect and I am so in love the other lip product I've been loving this month is the NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. I think it is a beautiful baby pink color. I'll swatch this on my hand. And it's so comfortable on the lips. And it just, it's very, it's like opaque, but not too opaque. Can you see that? Oh, uh, barely. Yeah, actually, you can see that. So I just, I love it. And it's so comfortable on the lips, as I probably just said. And it's just a very gorgeous color and it's like my go-to like on an everyday basis for school so it is just perfection surprisingly this month i actually did not wear a lot of eyeshadow and if you've been watching my channel you know i'm like obsessed with eyeshadow but i just haven't found the time i've been so busy and i haven't wanted to over the weekend and stuff like that because i just i'm lazy and it's getting hot out and i just don't want to like sweat it off and whatever but I have been using this one eyesh like eyeshadow product, I guess. Um, it's the NYX uh, Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. It's this very opaque white color that I pop in my inner corner. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Um, so I just like put it right here. And then I blend it out with like my pinky finger or something like that. And then I'll put like a shimmery white eyeshadow over that from like my Naked Basics or something like that. Like... Um, I actually just have it laying out. I sometimes I'll just put Venus in there, or I'll combine. Uh, I'll combine. I'll combine Walk of Shame and Venus and put it on there, and it's just so gorgeous because I'm so obsessed with like a bright inner corner. It's like my favorite thing to do right now. Um, I don't know. It just makes me look so much more awake when I am just dead tired. Seriously, guys, I've been so sleep deprived this entire month, so I really have needed like the actual like boost of like brightness in my eye. So that has been super helpful, and also mascara has just like made my eyes pop. I've been loving the Maybelline Rocket um, mascara this month. It, I have it on today. I just think it is beautiful, and I've also been using this tool from Real Techniques a lot just to get like the clumps out of my, my mascara, um, and it's the Lash Brow Groomer. It is just, like, this metal side is so helpful. You just, like, run it through your lashes, and it just, like, makes your lashes look flawless. And the other mascara that I've been loving this month is the Revlon um, Lash Potent by Grow Luscious Volume and Length Waterproof Mascara in black. Obviously, this is just both the um, blackest one they had. Um, and so I wanted a good waterproof mascara for the summer, obviously, since I'm going in pools and ocean, whatever. They kind of give the same effect to my lashes, at least. It, it just, like, kind of flares them out. It makes them look so pretty. It's, like, exactly how I want my lashes to look. So both of these mascaras I have absolutely fell in love with this month. So this month I changed my ways. Usually I never wear, like, foundation or BB cream or anything like that. But recently I've been getting into it so much more. This month I have used the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream in Light, but then I actually got too tan for that, which was a big deal because I was like too light for this like a month ago. So anyways, um, I love, love this formula. I probably will get this in the medium because I just love the formula of this. It's just like, it's moisturizing except it's not too moisturizing because I'm like oily, but it just gives me like the moisture I need it so it doesn't look like cakey on my face. I just... I love it. And then I have been loving um, 
the Garnier BB Cream in light slash medium. This is actually not a light shade, I'm gonna be honest. I'll show you guys. It is like quite dark. I'll like compare the two on my hand, but like I don't know how any like fair person could wear this because it is like ridiculous. You're actually, you can barely see the difference. But I promise you on the skin, like, the Garnier one is so much darker, yet you can barely tell the difference. But I promise, guys, in, like, it, on my face, it, it makes a big difference. So, anyways, I really love the formula both, and it's nice that they both have SPF in them. So, I have worn the crap out of both of these guys this month, and I'm sure I will continue to throughout the summer. So this is a repeat favorite from last month and just a repeat favorite in general because I just always go back to this concealer. It is a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I ramble and rant about this one on my channel so often so I won't like put you guys through that again. But seriously, the formula is just so good and I love, love concealing my under eyes with this one. It is just so amazing. So ever since the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder has been discontinued... <sighs> tier tier um i have been on like the rigorous hunt to find one that is just as good if not better um and this month i found one that comes pretty close and it was in my collection the entire time so it's the rimmel stay matte pressed powder in transparent it keeps me matte for basically as long as the maybelline dream matte did um but it looks more cakey on the skin which is the only drawback I try my best. I mean, it's the closest dupe I can find right now. I probably, if I looked in like higher end um, powders, I probably would find one, but I just don't feel like paying that much, but eventually I'll probably just like try a few out. But seriously, this keeps me matte for like hours, probably I would say like seven hours, which is pretty good. So it's not like a perfect dupe, but still it comes very close. So this month I love the Milani um, Nail Polish in 28 Pink Express. I have this on my toes and I've had it on for like a month now. I really need to repaint them. They are looking like really ratchet right now. But I think it is a gorgeous like baby pink color and it looks so good on my toes. It makes my toes look so like, like my feet in general, um, look so tan and I just love this color. It's so pretty and I've gotten so many compliments on it. So I absolutely love this one. And it actually does um, dry really fast. It says like on the packaging, high speed, fast dry, one coat formula. And it's so opaque and it's just amazing. So I love this nail polish. So for perfume this month, I've loved the um, Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy perfume. I just have it in this little sample bottle. Oh my gosh, it smells like rainbows and unicorns. It's a very like warm and cozy scent. It's like not fruity at all, I would say. It's just more florally and it has like the vanilla scent. I don't know. It is so nice and I've gotten a lot of compliments on this as well. So as you guys can probably tell, I have frizzy hair and I'm always on the hunt for like new products to like tame the frizz and there honestly is not like a perfect cure. There's like nothing I can really do. My hair is just like naturally frizzy. But this product has helped me out so much this month. It is the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. Um... Yeah, I think that's just it. Um, it is amazing. I put this on when my hair is damp, when I get out of the shower, and it's just so nice. It keeps my hair so soft. It helps a lot with the frizz. I'm telling you, if I did not put it in my hair, my hair would be, like, out to here with the humidity and everything, like, affecting it. It is just not good. So, anyways, this has been, like, my lifesaver this month. So, this month I have one fashion kind of favorite, um, and it is my Ray-Bans. I have aviators. I will show you. They just look like this. I love them, and I just, I don't know, I've used them a lot this month because I went to Disney World. Yes, you will see a video of me getting ready, except it's not going to be me in, like, Disney World because I actually didn't have time to film, but I'll show you, like, what I did. Anyways, that video will be coming soon, um, but I wore these the entire time, like, literally for, like, hours on end. I love them. I look very good in them. No, I'm kidding. But, like, I, I don't know. I just love the shape of them on my face. You probably can see yourselves in the reflection of my glasses. But, seriously, I love these to death. So, I have to keep this very quick because my camera is running out of space. But, thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs this video up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And, comment down below what your main favorites were. So, I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.